What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Let's Play Haywire Ranch episode and today we will be selling some silage and we'll be harvesting some canola and we do have quite a lot of silage to sell, 21% so we will get started on this and then we will sell our old combine which was a case and we'll upgrade to a really nice John Deere and we do have two hours left on this so let's see if we could sell all this before the rent is over and uh, that would save us some money instead of renting it we uh, will use the one that we rented the last time so let's get this started up and uh, head on over here to the silage and uh, the texture is not uh, the correct texture but uh, that's fine we still uh, get <laughs> to sell all this stuff and uh, I'm really excited to make a lot of money off this and uh, that will help us in the long run when we go buy the combine later today and uh, do a harvest with it and uh, I think that we should also sell some grain I think selling grain would also be beneficial for us today to bring in some extra money so we will continue to sell this and then we'll see how much money we get from it. This cat loader is perfect for selling silage. It is really nice detailed and I just really do like using uh, really nice mods in all my videos. But please let me know in the comments guys what you guys would like me to do for the next Haywire Ranch video and what map would you want me to switch to since there are lots of maps out there we might switch if uh, a lot of you guys would like that but this is going well and we do have around 15% so we already sold 5% and we already got over a hundred thousand so that's pretty good and that's awesome we really do like making the money in this game but uh, we are going to be cutting it close on time for this rental and we do have to bring it back to our shop first to wash it before we sell it or else we will be charged a fee oh we, we have 16 percent so that's pretty good went through five percent since we had 21 percent and we are making some pretty good money right now which is awesome and uh, we will continue to sell each bucket is around twenty thousand dollars so that is a lot of money per bucket and we will sell as much as we can and if the rental time runs out then we will not rent another loader for a, just a little bit so we'll wait for more silage and then we will rent it because that's how we will save money instead of paying for an actual rental fee and all that stuff like that but uh we are making pretty good progress here and uh, making a lot of money now and we do and we are going to sell the combine we have now because we will be upgrading it so that's awesome and yeah this is cat loader I think that we should uh, purchase one so please let me know guys should we purchase a cat loader purchase this from the rentals department of the store I think that that would be awesome to do and uh, maybe we might have to take out a loan but yeah we'll just continue here and we have 12% left so that's almost half of it has been uh, sold which is a lot of money so far which is awesome
The silo is almost empty. We have one more bucket after this one, and we have just under 21 minutes left, and we will be able to do the last bucket and take this on over to the store, and I think that we should not risk taking it back to our shop and just pay the $100 fine for uh, not washing it. I think that that would be better because uh, we are close on time and I do have to speed up time for this to run through and uh, get us enough room for the next bucket. So once we sell this, let's head on over to the store and we will also purchase the combine once we are at the store. I think that that would be a faster and a efficient way to purchase it and then we will take that to the field and we'll get the new combine which I'm really we'll get the old one and uh, we'll sell that one since we do not need it so let's head on over to the store now to uh, give this back to the rental department arriving at the store with six minutes to spare that is quite a little amount of time to have but uh, let's park this in front of the garage and to give it back we will pay the hundred dollar washing charge which is completely fine so let's now go into the store and buy ourselves the harvester so it's the John Deere S690i 370 thousand dollars let's purchase that and we need the header 165,000 so this is a pretty expensive combine but it is well worth it it will make us a lot of money and will be efficient and we still do have the front loader attachment here which uh, we will probably get towards the end but uh, this is a really nice cabin it's perfect for uh, what we need it to do so let's take this on over to the field and uh, hopefully we can fit through the gate here because uh, I don't want to get a trailer just yet but I think that we do have to be a little unrealistic and uh, uh -oh, we can't fit through so I'll figure out a way to get this there and uh, we'll bring it on over to the field parking the combine here on the grass right next to the field so that it is ready for us let's switch on over to the case combine and let's go bring this over to the store and sell it to uh, help get us a little bit of the money back and this is like seventy thousand dollars that we're gonna get back around there so that's not much but it will help and uh, we do not need this since we got that large combine. This combine was perfect for s starting out the farm, but it is no longer needed. So let's hit the sell trigger. And there we have it. We sold the combine. So let's jump in the smaller John Deere tractor. And uh, we'll be using this one today for the grain cart. And uh, this is a little bit quieter than the other one. And a lot of you did say that the other one is really loud and the game is on its lowest sound level from zero so I'm going to have to look into changing the sound file and make it a little bit not as loud but let's back up to this and we'll head on over to the field and I will have to speed up the time because the field is not ready yet for harvest but uh while that We'll uh, just get set up for the harvest here. The field is ready for harvest and as I was speeding up the time, the field was ready at midnight. So I thought that we would harvest it in the morning. So let's start up the combine and uh, get this harvesting underway here and uh, make some money from harvesting canola. So let's uh, continue here and uh, yeah, this is a really large combine like I was saying it's going to make our harvest much faster and efficient and I mean a pretty large pass and this is a pretty big combine for us but if anyone knows of any header trailers please let me know because this harvester mod did not come with one 
and I think having one would be awesome. And please let me know, guys, if you want me to harvest and speed up the harvest and play some music in the background. Let me know if you guys would like that instead of me cutting it out. And uh, we will continue to harvest here and uh, just make some money and try out this new combine, which is awesome. We're going to make the money back from it, which I really do like investing and making money back in all the equipment we purchase. One pass around this field was 40%, which means every pass now will be less and less. And we will just keep going around in the circle formation since this is not a shape that is easy to go one direction. So yeah, we'll just continue this and uh, get this harvest finished. And uh, it's going pretty fast. And I think that this combine will probably fill up that whole grain trailer so we will have to upgrade the trailer shortly the combine is completely full so let's drive this tractor over here with the trailer and we will be able to empty most of this combine which is good and uh, we will only need to empty this one more time the uh, combine which is good so I uh, will get this unloaded and we'll continue harvesting. On the last pass of this harvest and it's just about over once we do this little bit. So let's turn the combine off and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe.